Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded semicircle with the center E and the yellow shaded uh, quarter circle with the center B inscribed uh, in a blue rectangle uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, they are tangent to each other at this point and moreover uh, A, C is the diagonal uh, of this uh, blue rectangle and this uh, diagonal is six units long and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region this area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, yellow semicircle we know its center is uh, e then we can see that uh, d e is the radius of this uh, semicircle and likewise uh, E C is radius as well. I'm going to label uh, this radius as lowercase r. Likewise, this other radius is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded quarter circle with the center B. And we can see that A B this side uh, is the radius of this uh, quarter circle. And this uh, side A B equal to this side uh, cd and this side is r plus r is going to give us uh, 2r so therefore uh, this uh, side uh, ab is going to be 2r as well so therefore uh, the radius of this uh, yellow shaded quarter circle turns out to be 2 times r and now let's assume that this uh, side bc is uh, lowercase uh, x and in this uh, next step, we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle ABC. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 6, whereas our two other legs are uh, X uh, and 2 times R. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, X uh, square plus uh, 2 times lowercase r whole square equal to 6 uh, square and now I'm going to move this uh, 4r square on the other side so therefore we can write uh, x square equal to 36 uh, minus 4 times uh, r square and I'm going to label this uh, as our equation number 1 and now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center B with this center E, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this crucial fact, the centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder uh, these uh, centers B, E and this point of tangency lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle so therefore uh, this radius has got to be lowercase r and likewise we can see that this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and we know the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is two times r so therefore uh, this uh, radius has got to be two times lowercase r so therefore we can see that this uh, whole uh, b e length is going to be r plus 2 r is going to give us uh, 3 times r and moreover uh, this angle has got to be 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this uh, blue rectangle and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle b c e and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. In our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 3 times r, whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and lowercase r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, r square. That is going to give us equal to 3 times r whole square. And now I'm going to subtract r square from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore, x square turns out to be equal to a times uh, r square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. 
So therefore we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation one and equation two. And now we are going to compare uh, these uh, two equations. And we can see left hand side x square are identical. So therefore we are going to equate the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we can write uh, a times uh, r square is equal to 36 uh, minus uh, 4 times r square. And now I'm going to add 4 times r square on both sides. Here we can see these right hand sides are gone. So therefore left hand side is going to become 12 times uh, r square equal to 36. Let's divide uh, both sides by 12 to isolate r square. So therefore r square value turns out to be equal to 3. And now I'm going to undo this uh, r square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be equal to square root of 3 units. So therefore uh, the radius for this uh, semicircle is going to be lowercase r equal to square root of uh, 3. And the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is going to be 2 times r. So that means that's going to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And I'm going to label uh, the radius of this quarter circle as uppercase r is going to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of 3 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, yellow shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the semicircle plus the area of the quarter circle. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and the area of the quarter circle uh, as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And since we are dealing with the semicircle, so therefore the semicircle area formula is going to be pi r square divided by 2. So therefore our this semicircle area is going to become uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, our r value is square root of 3. So I'm going to write down square root of 3 whole square. And we can see that the square of this square root of 3 is going to be simply 3. So therefore uh, this whole thing on the right hand side is going to become 3 times pi divided by 2. So thus the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 3 pi divided by 2 square units. And in this uh, next step, we are going to calculate the area of the quarter circle. We are talking about uh, this uh, yellow shaded uh, quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again. Area equals to pi r square, where uppercase r is the radius. So therefore, our quarter circle area is going to be this whole uh, area, pi uppercase r square. And we are going to divide it by 4. So therefore our this uh, quarter circle area is going to be pi divided by 4 times uh, our radius uppercase r is 2 times square root of 3. So I'm going to write down 2 times uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square. And now we can see the square of this 2 times square root of 3 is simply 12. And if we reduce this one that is going to give us uh, on the right hand side as uh, 3 times uh, pi. So thus the quarter circle area turns out to be 3 times pi square units. And here's our final step. Let's recall this equation once again. The yellow shaded region area equals to the semicircular area plus uh, the quarter circle area. And here we figured out our uh, semicircle area and the area of the quarter circle as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So therefore uh, this uh, yellow shaded uh, region area is going to be 3 pi divided by 2 plus uh, 3 times uh, pi and that is going to give us equal to 9 pi divided by 2 square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the yellow shaded area turns out to be 9 pi divided by 2 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 14.14 
square units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.